It's five minutes till showtime. It's time for an intermission. And there's time before the next show begins to take your family to our concession stand. You'll find fresh hot popcorn, delicious candy bars, whatever your family desires. And you'll find the greatest treat of all, knee-high beverages. Yes, Golden Knee-High Orange is the quality refreshment beverage that comes in quantity size. Everyone in the family will enjoy the true fruit flavor of Knee-High Orange. It's the beverage that meets all of your refreshment desires. Perfect for flavor, perfect for enjoyment. Treat yourself to the biggest treat of all, Knee-High Orange. And an extra attraction, this theater also serves quality famous Royal Crown Cola. The cola that's best by taste test. For real enjoyment, visit our concession stand and ask for Royal Crown. It's four minutes till showtime. See these two portable radios? Well, watch this. Better go, Betsy. Sorry, friend. You old foul portables have to go. But look at our new RC portable radio. Came through without a chip. Here's the world's first and only portable radio in a non-breakable impact case. So rugged, it's the only radio case with a five-year guarantee against chipping, cracking, or breaking in normal use. Of course, a two might jar loose, but that's easily fixed. The important thing is RCA Victor's non-breakable impact case means no chipping, no cracking, no breaking. And hear that tone. It's RCA Victor's great golden throat sound. See the world's only portables with the non-breakable impact case as low as $27.95 at your RCA Victor dealer. It's three minutes till showtime. Clothing values are high Hi. and the prices are low. No. That's why Robert Hall. Robert Hall. You save on family clothes. Clothes. Rest easy. Knowing that Wario is just, he's just code. He's just programming. Which means he's never going to be able to find love. Ever. He's not going to, he's not going to be able to feel love. He doesn't know what it is. He, he's not even happy about this. He doesn't have feelings. He's a piece of shit, garbage, dumpster, trash man. It's two minutes till showtime. Now there's a soft drink from the Coca-Cola company that makes it fun to be thirsty. Discover Fanta brand flavors. It's one minute till showtime. <whistles> yes, sir. The hot dogs at our concession stand do rate an appreciative whistle. You'd like. <laughs> I want to know the answer. Yes, there is an eye. <laughs> yes, and now we're out of vowels. Banana. Convenience store manager. Corn dogs. It could have just as easily been oh, convenience store coming. banana, okay? Want to see how you're doing? Let's take a look. Settle back now, content, comfortable, well fed, and ready for some fine entertainment. Is everybody happy? 
Then let's go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Well, hello, everybody. I think everything's working. Is that really loud or is that like regular loud? <laughs> Let me know how that music is, how our, our chill truck jazz is. Not loud, it's fine. Mm, what a okay. hamburger. All right. I, uh, clearly, I didn't check my settings when I start, <laughs> started streaming today. Uh, hey, everybody. Oh my God, they got MST3K emotes? Jealous. Okay, so today the plan was to stream from the Windows 98 LGR PC. I had it all set up, ready to go, but when I open Streamlabs, it's so strange. Like I can have the, the capture card open, it looks totally fine. But when I open Streamlabs, it just messes everything up. It says it can't find the signal and I mess, I couldn't figure it out. So I'm hoping to fix it by next stream. Haircut, no, no haircut. I have a feeling that when I get a haircut, I'll probably make a big deal about it. I, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, Where am I wow. now? I'm in Washington state. I'm near Seattle. Where am I now? <laughs> Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting everything. I'm looking around like I'm lost because I'm getting uh, everything set up. Mmm, what a hamburger. I guess I could have done that before I started, but y you know how it goes. Okay, all right. All right. Mmm, what a hamburger. All right. Maybe? Okay, uh, another note. Oh, maybe I should start driving. Hey, let me let me start driving first. Let me start driving. Eventually. Oh, wow. At some point. Oh my god. I will start... <laughs> I will start driving. Harkwit, thank you so much for the $3. Hi, Ian. It's me, the knife guy. Uh, fun fact, your knife was made in Seki City, one of the largest knife-making capitals in the world. Also home to mm, uh, Monet's Pond? Monet's Pond? Monet's Pond? Uh, good to see you back to streaming. Stay saucy, cowboy. Thank you so much, Harkwit. You know, I still use that knife. It's like my office knife. It's over on that shelf. I use it anytime I need to open anything over mm, here. What a hamburger. It's been a very helpful gift. Okay, you know they're doing Idaho on here? It's not out yet, but uh, apparently American Truck Simulator is adding Idaho. Uh, I don't want a quick job. My mm -hmm. on a job? Mm -hmm. You're in Idaho right now? Well, you can be our, uh, you know, when it comes out, you gotta let us know if it's accurate or not. I've driven through Idaho once, maybe twice, during my move. Z moves. <laughs> How come I can't? I don't have a truck to drive. Where's my truck? Right? There's my guy. I'm level seven. Did I have to start over? Oh, I might have had to start over again. I might have had to start over again last time we played. I just don't remember. I, okay, we'll start. We'll start from the beginning. Yes, this is what my guy looks like up here. This is my. Uh, this is pretty much me. I feel like that's. I mean, it's not that far off. You know, it's not that far off.
Okay. Oh, wait, is Idaho here? Or is it just lighting up because it's, like, on the way? Drive around Washington. I can use some different trucks. That one looks freaky. Oh, that's quite a drive. Let's do it. Let's do it. Metomatics. Metomatics? Thank you for what the five hamburger. months. Keep on trucking. Brumble Duck. Thank you for the nine months. Freakish Uproar. Thanks so much for the four months. I haven't missed much, have I? No, you've missed nothing. Uh, Log Hat. Log, log hat TV lo, log hat TV thank you for subscribing super ghost thank you for the eight months loving the consistent streams looking forward to your secret project tapio tapioca star tapiocaster thank you for the five months now I have something to do uh now I have something to listen to while coloring my frog Jesus I don't know what that is. Uh, back, back, guru, oh my god, back, baku, ryu, san, thank you for the 20 months, Mr. Meaty Pop, thank you for subscribing, um, I pronounced some of those correctly, in theory, okay, ooh, I like the rain, okay, Log Log Hat TV was pretty close. Log Log Hat TV Log Hat TV. I don't know how to read. <laughs> Where's my windshield wipers? Are any of these buttons I'm pushing windshield wipers? Log Hat Log Hat V. Okay, that makes sense. I'll definitely remember that <laughs> for next time. I've never forgotten one, ever. I do have a steering wheel. Actually, you know what? I don't know that I still have the steering wheel. I did have a steering wheel. It's not how I prefer to play. I like a controller with this. I need to know what my... Uh... Oh my God. I can't decide if I'm like hot or cold mm. today. What a hamburger. Uh, I need wipers. Wipers is P or D left joy pad uh perido rose peridot rose mm, what a hamburger i prefer to just pronounce silent uh letters i i think i've decided that i don't believe in silent letters anymore if you're gonna put it there i'm i should say it cheesy pies thank you for the two months whoop two months it's always awesome to watch your streams while working, and I love Chill Truck. It's great to listen to while drawing. There's above valid pronunciations. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. I wasn't able to do the wipers because uh, the car wasn't on. Mm, or the truck wasn't hamburger. on. That makes sense. Okay. All right, here we go. I, I think this has VR support. I'm not sure. I have not tried it. I've not tried it. All right. Mm, what a hamburger. Wait, I got it. Did I leave the... Oh, no. I think I left the... I left the truck. I didn't actually pick up the truck, so I got to loop around. <laughs> I guess I thought that they would just give me the truck. Did they not used to just give me the truck? American is only really different in Euro Truck 2 by the location. I think they also added... Uh, did Euro Truck 2 have wait stations? They added wait stations or checkpoints, something like that. But for the most part, it's, it's the same. Oh, my God. So I think, uh, at least for now, just... Just for reference, for anyone uh, listening, I suppose. I think I'm done with Twitter. Like it's it's early to say. It's easy. Oh, it's easy to say that you're done with Twitter. I'm trying to be done with Twitter. So don't look. 
Don't look at Twitter if you're looking for like updates. I think I'm finally ready to just be done. Be done. It's it's mess. It feel like it's just really messing with my head, and I just want to make stuff. hamburger. So away it goes. So I'll be posting stuff to uh, my website. And then I got the Discord. I'm trying to be more active in the Discord. Um, and then streams. I mean, I'm trying to stream more. I think that's a good time to get updates. I think I talk about, you know, I talk about what I'm working on and stuff. Tim, Tim, uh, Timber Spawn. Tim Timber Spawn. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, you're subscribed to the RSS feed of my website. I didn't even know that that was possible. How do you do that? I thought I had to have a button for that. No, I probably won't announce that I'm leaving Twitter. I changed like my my uh, description to be like uh, find me elsewhere or whatever. They'll figure it out. It's not like I post very much there anyway. The only time I ever really post is when there's a new video or like a stream or something. Oh my God, I keep hitting the camera button. Oh my God. I guess I could have like stopped. Off-roading, thread the needle. Here we go, thread the needle. Okay. I don't want to delete the Twitter uh, just because it's very final and also that would like free up my username and I know people are going to look for it anyway. I just want to stop being on it. I, I'm not even opposed to using it for updates. Uh, that's mm, how I've been trying to use it, but like just having access to it for updates is too much for me. I can't stop myself. I was good for like a week for not checking it. And then slowly but surely I started getting on Twitter again, getting on that, getting on that scroll machine. So I can't like, I can't fight it unless I just block, I'm blocking it on all my, I'm using cold turkey to just block it from all my, <laughs> all my apps and stuff. Nah, that's, that's too, that's, I mean, that's some extra steps. That's fine. I think as long as I just can't get access to it, it's fine. It can just, it can just die. <laughs> it can just sit there. Maybe, I don't know, who knows? Maybe one day Twitter will be better. Uh, but that's just a heads up to anyone who relies on Twitter for uh, updates and stuff. It will be unreliable going forward. I do use Epidemic Sound. That's what we're listening to right now. Ch uh, Chira Ledge. Thank you for the three months. Weird, I shared my, oh wait, no, wrong message. Thank you for keeping me sane during work uh, at home and now furlough time. Hey, uh, not a problem. I'm at least right there with you at work work from home. It's strange how like I've worked from home for a really long time, but still affected by the, the quarantine. It's still driving me a little crazy. I flew off the handle there for about eh, three weeks or so. <laughs> Getting it back together. <laughs> I'm happy to be streaming again. Having this schedule has already been nice. It makes me feel like at least I can update. I'm considering doing mm, uh, a hamburger. maybe some Blender streams at some point. I've been in Blender a lot, working on stuff, and sometimes I just feel like I want to blend. Mastodon is a decent alternative. Nah, nah. No, I don't. I don't, don't want to do another social network right now. Will it blend? Will Ian blend? Where are we in the game? We're in Washington somewhere. 
I'll look for a road sign. I could pull out the map, but I'm uh, driving. Thank you, Vic Vikovsky. I started to use, I might've talked about this last stream, I don't remember. I started to use Trello. Anyone use Trello? I'm trying to use it to stay more productive and keep on, on top. I got it specifically for my big video. It's There's so many parts that it feels overwhelming. And getting to break down the work into little tiny cards that you can move around has been super help, helpful. Trello's like, I don't really even know how to explain it. It's like a productivity... Like I said, you break you can break down large projects into tiny steps. It's almost like an advanced checklist. If checklists really work for you, um, it's worth looking into. It's not exactly what I wanted. I was looking for, I want like a social network where like all you're al allowed to talk about is what you're working on. I just want, I just want to follow people's projects, almost like Patreon, but not really. LinkedIn, okay, you guys know that's not what I want. <laughs> kind of like DeviantArt. It's kind of like all these things, but it's not quite mm, what, I, have what I want in my brain. Yeah, kind of like a productivity Discord. Maybe not on Discord, though. <laughs> MySpace. Cat Daily TV, thank you so much for the 33 months. Weird, I shared my sub streak already, but apparently it didn't load. Anyway, Tolder, you're my favorite content creator. I hope I didn't take a wrong turn. <laughs> Which is why I'm still around. Keep it up, buddy. Thank you so much, Cat Daily. Always good to see you here. Slack. I don't understand Slack. I looked at Slack before I tried uh, Trello. I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, I just, Slack is work discord. That doesn't, like that doesn't say anything to me. Similar to discord. So it's like an IRC, but for work, where is it different from uh, discord? What jobs use for employ? Well, yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it like is it like virtual cubicles? It doesn't sound that doesn't sound fun, but that's the closest way that I could describe what I was looking for. Like virtual cubicles, because I have all these like colleagues, right? Creative people that are working on creative projects, but we're all doing it separately, and nobody's really keeping people posted, so it's very isolating. So it would be interesting to feel more like colleagues with virtual colleagues. I've been in a couple like creative discords, but they always die. <laughs> so I don't think discord is the solution. Is Slack, does Slack do that? I can bypass the nearby. I thought that was something, I thought that was like my phone. Well, maybe I'll look harder at Slack. The other side is that I have to convince friends to use it. I gotta be like, hey, join my Slack group so I can uh, bother you about projects. Right now I'm just relentlessly bothering people. I just message my friends, hey, what are you working on? Tell me what you're working on, I, I wanna know. <laughs> And you know what? That's working. That's that's working right now. It's better than Twitter, so I'll take it. Suggested Discord. Maybe I'll just keep hitting people up. It's good to like connect with people. I think I think that's something that social media made me bad at. It's like just reaching out and being like, "Hey, what's up?" Because I'm one of those people that's like, "Oh no, I'm I'm gonna bother. I'm always I'm a bother." I'm always bothering everybody. We're just driving along while we're hauling something. I actually don't know what we're hauling. 
we are hauling uh, limestone from Grand Coulee, Washington, all the way to Salt Lake City, Ut. You need to put a sweatshirt on. Oops. Like spending time on yourself? That's totally fair. Like some people, when they work on projects, uh, they just want to like dial in, focus, and that's it. I'm someone who really vibes off of what a hamburger. other people being creative. Like if a friend of mine has a really out there idea, I'm all about that. Tell me what you're doing that you haven't done before. Uh, I love that shit. It makes me want to work on different stuff. And especially when I'm like stuck in a rut, it just makes me feel like I'm wasting time. It really motivates me to see other, other people, you know, getting shit done. Oh, let's see here. Yam yum. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Do you pronounce both O's in moose or is one silent? Uh, you pronounce both. I just abbreviate them a little so you, you can't really hear the full thing, but it is, uh, it is pronounced moose. Sure. <laughs> Incredible Kelly, thank you for subscribing. Tora84, thanks for subscribing. Tapio Caster, thanks for gifting that sub. Call me Ally, thanks for the prime sub. Uh, Desert Silo, thank you for the prime sub. Go, okay, let's get let's hit the road again. And Casual Zelda Fan 8, thank you so very much for the $3. Ian. I've been obsessed with your music stuff recently. Got any new music projects brewing? Love your stuff, keep doing you. Thank you so very much. I do, you know, interesting that you say that because I am very, uh, I'm feeling very motivated to work on music lately. I have not. I did start this, I started this year with a, uh, a music goal, which I guess should still be Meetable. I'm not sure if I will. Um, but definitely more coming along the line. Right now, it's like trying to let myself make time for that, you know? That's another thing on my mind. Is Patreon? I don't know. I just don't know about Patreon. I feel pressure from Patreon. I know it's not intentional. I know nobody donating to me there would intentionally put, you know, want to put pressure on me, but it's it carries some type of weight. Daisy's UFO, thank you for the 100 bits. This is the first time I've been able to catch a stream live. Love your vids and the few art pieces I've seen by you. What's your favorite video that you've made? Thank you so much, Daisy. What's my favorite video that I've made? Um. Hmm. That's tough, especially as I've been like including personal issues, not issues, personal my life in videos a bit more like my move, my cross country move is a very special video to me. I, I watch it. That's one that I'll go back and watch uh, to feel sad. <laughs> I'll go back and cry watch my road trip video. Um, Televoid's always gonna have a special place for me. Oh no, am I supposed to, I think I'm supposed to get off here. I think it'd be easier to find videos that I don't like. Or, uh, mystery tapes, I, I really enjoy. I feel like I did, you know, I'm doing what I want to do with that show. I don't know if I have a favorite. Coin game on stream next. I'm not sure. Whenever I'm in the mood, I definitely want to try the survival mode. I just got to be in the mood. Ooh. You know, a lot of people mention my collabs with Chad. I really want to do another. Uh, we were going to, we were going to record one like 
last month or something. I was talking to him about recording one, and then I just uh, lost it. <laughs> I just lost it for a little while, so that uh, didn't materialize. But maybe soon, because like this big video thing, I'm still filming it. Um, I think I mentioned that my my filming sections have been broken up into like 20 different sections, and I'm about uh, halfway, maybe a little past halfway on filming the big video. So I think once I'm done filming, I might take a break and do something uh, smaller. Movie review with Chad might not be a bad idea. That's something that I don't have to write, which would cut down on work. The video is going to be big. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. Will it be worth it? No, but it will be big. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm still excited for it. That's just been me lately. The last past few days, maybe a week or so, I'm trying to get that creative energy going, feeling good about making stuff. Glad you made it, Published Dragon. How's it going with the Blackberry? Yum. It's, Yum. you know, the Blackberry's going all right. I had to get another one. Um, so the first Blackberry I got uh, didn't work. It worked fine, but like with calls, it would not hold a call. Even on Wi-Fi calling, it would not hold a call. So I, I ordered another one. I actually ordered a different, like, serial number. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it or not. But I ordered what I thought was one that was more intended for the States. And it's been going just fine. It sometimes has problems getting reception in a building. <laughs> but I got, I got the working one from eBay. I just bought it on eBay. Definitely do your research. Don't go out and just randomly buy an old phone. Do some research. There's people out there using those things that'll tell you what you need to know, um, what models to pick, that kind of thing. But I'm thinking of sending back my Samsung Galaxy. I haven't used it in, I don't know, a couple weeks. MJ update. MJ's great. MJ is great. Um, she probably won't come in here today. Um, but I will, I will pass along the, uh, the concern. Oh, I need fucking gas. Uh, okay. Well, keep, keep an eye out for gas. I maybe should have gotten off there. Log hat V. Thank you very much for the 200 bits. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I could have one superpower. I would I would want to be like um slow down time man. Uh I would love to have more time to do stuff. Work. I would love to have work uh more time to work or a super here we go, a superhero ability to focus. That would be a good one. I could put that one to use. <laughs> Adderall. Yeah, I don't know. I just want to be more productive. So any any superpower that would make me more productive. Or maybe the superhero, the superhero ability to like be healthy without having to try, that would also be great. Yeah, Blackberry still makes phones, but all their like current phones, the one I'm using is an old one with a keyboard. One of these guys. Here I go, off the road. Um. 
All the phones look the same, like they're big slab phones. They're like a giant screen phone. I actually think they may have stopped. Are they still making the Key 2? Is that the one they're still making? It's just so sad when you go to like... I used to look at phones all the time, even when I had a phone. It's not the Bold, but it looks like the Bold. It's the BlackBerry Classic. It's it's It runs BB10 and can sideload Android apps. But man, I always wanted a phone. I was always looking at like newspaper phone advertisements and stuff, checking out the latest cool phones. And now when you go and look, they, they're all just screens. They're just big old screens. Which is fine. It's just not exciting. It used to be exciting. I've had a Game Boy, yeah. I had, uh, my first Game Boy was a Game Boy Pocket. So it was the black and white one. Um, after the, you know, the big old Game Boy that was green. It was the one that was, it was the pocket version of that. I still have my original one of that. I still got my GBA. I, my Game Boy Color was stolen. I got the I got the Game Boy Advance Micro. I got the S SD or whatever that was, the flip one, SP. That one's good. Clamshell one was the best one. The Micro is also pretty cool. The Micro is pretty cool. I had a Game Boy, my Game Boy Color was like the lime green one. I think I've told the story before, it got stolen while at a friend's house and I'm still, I still don't 100% believe that. Apparently someone broke into the house and and stole my Game Boy. Mm, and I what just, a hamburger. I want to believe that, but I just don't, <laughs> I just don't really believe that anymore. Freakish Uproar, thank you so much for gifting that So Nobody would, you would believe that if you were a kid. If you were a kid and it was your, uh, your best friend's mom telling it to you. What are you gonna say? No, you, you stole my Game Boy. <laughs> That's where I, that's what I'm saying. That they, they only want the Game Boy. Maybe it happened. Maybe it happened. I I hold you know, no ill will. I just have my doubts that that's how it went down. <laughs> like maybe they got in and they were like, you know what? Make all oh, the money now. He's gonna make all the money. They were like, okay, the family's gonna be back soon, so let's grab anything that looks expensive. And so they grabbed the Game Boy. Okay, sure. I still have my doubts, but okay. Mr. Meaty Pop, thank you so very much for the $20. My GF and I have bonded so much because of your videos. Plop, baked potato, and other bits from your videos are constantly referenced between us. Thank you. Hey, well, here's one of those. Plop. Thank you so very much. The very generous donation of $20. Mr. Meaty Pop and uh, girlfriend. Thank you very much. I'm glad I'm still alive too. Thank you. A, a tropus moon. A plop emoji. I wouldn't be opposed to looking uh, looking at refreshing my emotes. It's been a little while. I'm not good at I'm not good at emotes. Like it's not surprise. Like it's not a shocker at this point. But when I look at like my friends' streams, everyone's just on point with their emotes, and then there's there's fucking me. <laughs> with this smish mash of uh, emote offerings. <laughs> mm, 
Love the MJ emote, yeah. I use I use that emote in a lot of places. Not in a lot of places, but I use that emote elsewhere. It's my, uh, what do they call it? Fav icon? Fav icon? On my website. Real that Latin dude. Thank you very much for the 500 bits. Uh, may keyboard phones always have a place in your heart. Always. Always. I was gonna say if they like did a modern keyboard and phone, I'd get it, but right now I'm just gonna stick with the Blackberry until it doesn't work anymore. I don't want, I don't want new phone apps. Stop, gotta stop getting distracted by these apps. If I'm gonna make something cool, I can't mm, be distracted. What a Brutal Chair's been a good one. It's it's funny that we've kept Brutal Chair the same even as my chair has changed. I got a different chair recently, too. Uh, Dead Cereal, I'm using a Blackberry Classic. I don't remember what year they came out. It's like the last time they mm, made a I phone that looked like an actual Blackberry. I love this road. Lily Beep. And frames for twa. Thank you very much for subscribing. And orbital owl. Thank you very much for the 12 months. Thanks for the 12 months of chill vibes. Your vods are constantly going over here because they bring tranquility to our new baby and by extension ourselves. Also, we bought a copy a copy of Chill Truck. Thanks to you. Stay safe. Hey, thank you so much. Orbital, Orbital Owl and family, enjoy that chill truck. You know what we're gonna get to do soon? Oh, we're gonna get to do a uh, chill plane. Mm -hmm. When Flight Simulator comes out, you know, you know I'm gonna be flight simulating. So I'm looking forward to that a lot. <laughs> Miss this scenery. I do love the trees. I do love the trees. The hills, man, driving up these hills gives me kind of flashbacks to the road trips I took. Going up, down, up, down, up, down. Go to simulator games. Is there an objective? Yes, there is. So currently we do not own our own truck. We are just a single person taking uh, trucking jobs and earning money. As you complete jobs, you earn money. You can buy your own truck. You can buy a garage. You can start hiring people and eventually run your own trucking company. We have never gotten that far. I have gotten that far uh, playing myself alone, like forever ago when I used to play this game all the time. We were getting there and then for some reason I had to restart. You can crash. I mean, it's no burnout crashes. You just kind of bump into things, but crashing is not the, uh, uh, it's not an advertised selling point, I don't think. Farming type sim games. You know, Stardew Valley is something I wanted to play when it was coming along and then I just never did. Um, I'll give it a try. I've tried a couple farming games and for some reason or another, I, I just don't follow through with them, but I'd give it a shot. Do you have to like keep up with your crops in Stardew or like how, how big is the farming aspect? I think that's maybe where I get hung up. I know of Story of Seasons. I actually did try a Story of Seasons like the last game they had. It was like a 3DS one maybe. You don't have to farm if you don't want to. Okay, well that's that's good. Muchar, thank you very much for the 14 months. Thanks so much for all of the chill videos. Always cheer me up. And the VODs are great for background noise when I need something calm. Thank you very much, Muchar. I just almost drove off a, well, it's not a cliff. Paris in stereo, thank you for subscribing. We're headed to, uh, is it, was it Utah? Are we going to Salt Lake City? I think we're going to Utah. 
I'll check real quick. We're hauling limestone. Yeah, we're going to Salt Lake City with, with some limestone. I wouldn't say that jazz is my favorite type of music. No. Um, I do like it as like a video background. Um, I think jazz... Jazz is the genre that I think uh, suits what I'm trying to do, like, video and stream-wise. It's very chill, very relaxed. I feel like anyone can kind of, you know, chill to some nice jazz. paid any attention to the end. That's fine. I figure some people just, uh, especially chill truck. I mean, I'm driving a truck. You know, where... What do you want? I'm, I'm gonna drive a truck. Here, I'm gonna pass a truck. It's probably not a good idea. Post-punk and it Italio disco? Uh, what is post-punk? Is that, like, uh... What is post-punk? I love that little uh, convenience store. What's a gift shop? Mailing punk? I'm actually going to hit this rest area. While we're here, it looks like we, we're going to need a nap eventually. So, while we're here... I don't like this though. I don't like this kind of like imitation lo-fi. There we go. It's like the cure and new order. Okay. Those are, I don't know new order, but I know the cure. Where do I, oh, just anywhere. Lo-fi is like low fidelity, so um, stuff that sounds like it was recorded on a cassette tape or something like that, or stuff that um, actually was recorded on a cassette tape, I suppose. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's the lights? Where's my lights? L. Can you get a game over? I don't think so. I think you can always take a job. I think no matter how bad you do, someone's gonna hire you. New order is the remaining members of Joy Division. Okay. Can I write on red? I always forget if I can write on red. I'm gonna... Oh, it doesn't matter. Is that a restaurant called Yummy? Oh no, I drove up the curb. I can't even take a fucking intersection right. Come on, baby. Here we go, baby. Come on, baby. Everyone's, everyone's asleep. Nobody saw me do this. It's fine. I always found it weird that the stoplights are on the other side of the road. Is it really like that in the US? It is. No, you guys didn't see it. Nobody saw it. It's just me and the screen right now. It's me, the screen, and a chat room filled with uh, uh, AI. AI chatbots. Nobody's real. <laughs> no new art right now. I haven't drawn in quite a while. I'm working on uh, I'm working on Blender stuff. So my aside from video work and stream work, which I'm pretty vocal about, my side projects currently have been learning Blender. And then I've started to learn, very, very early started to um, 
learn Unity. Beep beep. I don't even know what my. Is this the home? There we go. Beep beep. Uh, worth the kids. I'm not sure. Uh, I've definitely watched a lot of Blender stuff lately. The only, I think the only channel name that I remember is, uh, Blender Guru. But I know I've, I've watched other people, so it's very possible. I use, uh, Adobe Premiere for my video editing. What other parts of the world would make for an interesting iteration of the, the truck simulator series? Where would I want to truck if I could truck anyway? That's the thing is I would, I'm so nostalgic. I want to, I want to explore places I've already been. So that's boring. Um, I don't know. It'd be interesting to put this, uh, like this engine in a fictional world. Let me truck around places that don't exist. Um, maybe a sci-fi trucker. Maybe that could be their next thing. Ooh, what if I could drive trucks through people's dreams? That would be interesting. I don't know what I would be delivering. What do you deliver as you drive trucks through people's dreams? Nightmares? I don't know. I don't know what you, what you would deliver, but it would be interesting. Sand? Oh, there you go. You could be the Sandman. I like that. I like that. There's a lot of people that sleep. You would need a network of people to deliver all of this... Uh, Sleepy sand. That's not bad. That's where I want to truck. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Like a soda simulator. Like, let me truck through something look that looks like a Cosmo D game or something. That'd be pretty great. Do I have cruise control on because if I do I have, I have no idea how I turned it on and I'm like flying up this hill okay now I'm slowing down <laughs> I'm finally slowing down ooh liking that idea of going back in time trucking through time would be interesting if I could truck to the future I like, I like driving trucks through dreams. I think I'm gonna pitch that one. I'll, uh, I'll let SCS Software have that one and they only have to give me half of the proceeds. I'll, uh, I'll loan that one out generously. Just give me half of your money. <laughs> so generous. Love this little creek. No, you don't get a cut for the for inspiring the concept because you're just a, a computer AI generated chatbot. <laughs> so Yeah, nobody's real. <laughs> my island's pretty good. My I my uh Animal Crossing island's pretty good. Um I'm just waiting on furniture mostly. I haven't been playing as much the past couple days, just waiting on furniture. A 
I'll do more food review videos someday. When I'm feeling inspired for fu what the fuck for food videos. That guy just like slammed into me. Uh oh, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Oh no, it's fine. It all worked out in the end. VHS series makes you feel old. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun though. <laughs> I've really been enjoying working with tapes again. Like filming on tape, I'm really enjoying watching, finding excuses to watch tapes. I miss the thrift store too. I don't know when I'm gonna go to the thrift store again. I'm glad I didn't bank too hard on the, the treasure hunt concept because that would be uh, pretty much impossible right now. Once we're, you know, over everything, I would love to do another, um, I don't know, adventure video, vlog, vlog venture, not really, a, kind of, I guess it's a vlog, I don't know. I'm gonna make all the money now. He's gonna make all the money now. Who is going? If neither of us are going, who is going? What is happening? Kid Funky Fresh, thank you very much for the $20. Moose, love your content. Uh, don't know how you don't have more YouTube subs. Thanks for the high quality videos. Thank you very much, Kid Funky Fresh. Uh, it's mostly because I don't upload uh, very much, <laughs> I think. Are you kidding me? Go! Go! Is it because I'm slightly in the way? Like, ever so slightly? Oh my god. Yeah, you know, subs don't even really mean that much anymore. I mean, they mean something, but not near as much as they used to. It's way more about view count. You'll see t a ton of channels with way less subs than me with way more views, and a ton of channels with way more subs and way less views. Uh, I can, if you ever want to know what song is playing, it's it's just stock music, but if you ask me while the song is still going, I can let you know. It just switched over to something called Own Eyes by uh, Pan, Panda, Panda Raps and Gustav. See, this isn't this isn't really the jazz that I'm looking for. This is This sounds like loops, you know? I want Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's invisible walls. I don't think you can go very far into the fields. I'm pretty sure you just run into an invisible wall. Mmm, what a hamburger. KK Comrade, thank you so very much for the three months. Hey Moose, been a YouTube subscriber since 2011. Thanks for all the great videos over the years. Is that really when I, 
started? Did I start 2011? Did I not start 2012? Thank you so much, KK. I don't even remember when I started doing all this shit. <laughs> Play desert bus. It doesn't seem fun. Favorite old videos of mine? I don't know. I haven't seen my old videos in so long. Um, define old. Uh, the one that comes to mind is Psychic Detective. That's that's old by now. That counts as old, right? I did not do any, not, I don't think I did any YouTube before this channel. I did try and make, you know, I've been making videos forever. Um, I think I, I did one more online effort before then, but it was very, it was like one video and I posted it on some forums and got roasted, so I stopped. <laughs> Psychic, psychic, detect, psychic Detective was a good one. Even though I barely remember it at this point, it's been a while, I just remember really enjoying putting it together. The game stuff I'm iffy on, like looking back on it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's a stop sign. I need to go back and watch it. Since I haven't seen it in a while, I don't really appreciate that era of my videos very much. What a like from where I sit, I kind of see it as like amateurish and like formulaic, which I mean, it was. That doesn't mean that there's you know nothing of not anything of value there. I failed to stop at the way station. But it's definitely not you know what I'm trying to do now. Wheatley Hastings, thank you for the two months. Love, Ooh Ian. May all of your crisps be cosmic and all your Texases be yum yum. Thank you very much, Wheatley. Some nice sentiments there. Town with no name still gets like respectable views, which is surprising to me. Do I still value my Modern Warfare 3 video? Oh yeah, as a starting point, yeah. If I didn't value those videos, they they wouldn't be up at all. Um, I've tried to leave, you know, I've left all my videos up, except for the one that got taken down um, by force. <laughs> but I don't regret any of them. I just like quality wise, looking back, it's like, meh. Yeah, I'd definitely like to do a uh, another thing with Chad, for sure. Top five Brutal Foods filming areas? Probably the first kitchen. Man, what what doesn't get shown on the Brutal Foods video, videos is just how stressed I was when filming them. Part of the reason I'm on like a break is because I need to, need to relax. I need to uh, put less pressure on myself with that kind of stuff because it's off the cuff, no scripting, and it was fun. And then, you know, it was like all of a sudden my most popular video series. I got, you know, way more views on it than anything else I've ever done. And just feeling like there was all these expectations. I just started getting really stressed out and in my own head about it. Um, so a lot of the times filming those weren't very fun. I'm happy with the result, like the outcome, the videos all turned out super good. But I definitely put a lot of pressure on myself for them. Um, you know, starting about halfway in probably. Hungry Mid's pretty good. 
See, I still want to do fun stuff like that. I just need to find a way to do it without the pressure. Part of the, you know, that's part of the leaving Twitter. Uh, not, not that people are intentionally putting pressure on me, but, you know, unintentionally having, you know, that kind of constant contact. Oh. I'm happy I made them too, for sure. No, no regrets. That just explains why I haven't made one in a little yum, while. Yum. Log hat. Shut v. up, bro. Bust oh, your face. Fuck. Log Hat V, thank you for the 200 bits. My name's not Shane, kid. I remember that. I remember that at least. And fellow moron, thank you so very much uh, for the $6 and change. You might need to retake your CDL test, mister. I'm assuming something driver's license. Commercial driver's license? Uh, I'm a pro, okay? I've been, I've been trucking for at least years. I don't think I need a license. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? One of my old videos that I do really like still is the PAX vlog one. Uh, I still, I get nostalgic for that one just because it was a, it was a moment in my life going to conventions. You know, people all of a sudden, you know, knowing who I am at conventions. That was a that was a time. I eighty four earlier. This goes straight to Salt Lake. It may be, you know, they may reroute you because of the weight of the truck. That might be why I'm uh, not on the highway. Metis of Arabia, thank you so much for the 25 months. Hey, nice truck. Not really. I appreciate it. You, it does make me feel better not having our uh, road to hell or whatever that awesome truck was we had before. I appreciate it. I don't know how much the game is on Steam. There's DLC you got to get too. Um, cause the game is like a base game that comes with, like, the West Coast-ish. Not even the full- didn't it just launch? It launched with, like, California, Nevada, New Mexico. Was that it? It did not launch with very much. They've been slowly expanding it. Favorite state scenery wise? Uh, Washington, probably. Uh, I really like the scenery here. I mean, you know, in certain areas, you know, Washington's a big state, but in the Seattle area, love the hills, love the trees. It's so very green. Love the evergreens, love the mountains. I like Colorado a lot for similar reasons. Um, love the mountains. Mountains are just cool. I don't like being freezing, but I like getting to look at mountains. And I feel like it doesn't get super cold here, whereas in Colorado it gets colder. I don't have many thoughts about Canada. I've never been to Canada. It's like right next door, but I haven't been. If I could make a game out of any mundane task, what would it be? Oh, every mundane task, like a chore simulator or something. Oh, I know. I've been I've been over this. I want to do like a shopping game where you're like an Instacart, Instacart simulator. Shop for someone in a grocery store, then drive it to their house. Repeat. Um, I would absolutely play that game. Library sim would be nice if I liked books. I don't really read. I'd feel intimidated by all the books. 
Did you go? Could you go a little faster than that? Thanks, Armored Sage. Appreciate that. Drink, drive, love. Oh, wait, lose. Yeah, that, that makes a little more sense. Best burger burger place. Best burger I've ever had in my life? I don't know. I love hamburgers. There's so many different kinds of hamburgers and I eat all like two of them. I eat regular hamburgers and mushroom Swiss burgers, you know, the two kinds of burgers that you can think of. Gourmet burger. See, I like the cheapo ones. I like a cheapo burger most of the time. Chemical Kimmy, I'm always I'm always up for uh, su for suggestions, video suggestions, as long as they're not demands. I'm down for suggestions. Man, I want cheeseburger. Maybe I'm gonna get a burger. Or a, uh, oh, I guess it's too late for lunch. For dinner? Man, I might get McDonald's. I love a good McDonald's cheeseburger, like the, the regular, just plain old cheeseburgers. Make me think of uh, Trailer Park Boys. We've been watching Trailer Park Boys. Gonna grow up and be Randy. Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxing vids. Um, probably not a video. I would look, look out for maybe a stream. I do have a number of Yu-Gi-Oh! things that I want to open. And I think I'm gonna do it on a stream. Uh, cause the videos, I don't think, I don't think I care enough to edit all that. But I bought them to open for you guys ages ago. So I still want to do that somehow. I have not been to Ghost Alley Expresso since the vid. Uh, everything is closed. Everything is closed, and even if it were open, I'm not going anywhere right now. Oh, wow. Glittered lights. Thank you so very much for the seven months. Your streams always bring a smile to my face and some chill vibes to my day. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much, glittered lights. I am. I am. I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling good. What's, uh, <clears throat> anyone working on anything cool? Who's, who's working on a cool thing right now? Tell me the cool thing. Jackpot? There's a place called Jackpot. That's awesome. Building a YouTube channel. That's fun. Writing a novel. That's scary. That scares me. All those words. How far, how far along are you in a novel? Also, like, having to make a story. That's scary. <laughs> Stuff that I want to do, but uh, might not ever do. Your spine healed. That's good. That's good to hear. Did your tax... Oh, shit. 
I have to I have to do taxes today. Thank you, Mega Man. Text based RPG, that's fun. See, I should be making shit. The one downside to streaming is I'm not I like I like to do the streams. I like making it does not scratch the creative itch. I don't feel oh, like I'm making wow. anything, even if technically I'm oops. Oops. Technically I, I'm making uh, content, I suppose. It's not, it's not quite the same as making something for me. OTG Marcus, thank you so very much for the eight months. Mm, what a hamburger. Flower jewelry, play jewelry, ebook, damn. Spending a lot of plates. I have not been to Germany. I have not been out of the country yet. This is not jazz. This is definitely not jazz. Where's my smooth jazz? Okay, back to the classics. Back to the ones we probably all recognize by now. JavaScript coding? JavaScript intimidates me. I still don't even, like, I've tried to learn CSS with HTML, and that's, even that's too much. JavaScript. A, that's a lot. I need a big brain for that one. Got too ambitious in lockdown and haven't made tons of progress with any of it. Hey, I did the same thing. I did the same thing. I got very, uh, you know, a month and a half, maybe, yeah, yeah, a month and a half-ish, month-ish, a little longer, over a month. I was very uh, optimistic and working on my big video a lot. I had a bunch of projects going, and then I just completely crashed. The Sadness. Thank you for the Prime. Sup? I've not played a uh, computer repair simulator. I'm still going though. On like the my biggest project for the quarantine, I'm still going. Some other ones are on hold. I wouldn't say that I've abandoned anything. Um, hit pause on a few things. Yeah, Animal Crossing came out. That was a distraction. Still, still a bit of a distraction, if I'm being honest. Glad you liked the next video. I enjoyed making that one. That one was a lot of fun. I would like to do more... I'm trying to take more notes on stuff that I'm actively watching, because Next was not something I sought out to make a video on. It was something I happened to be watching, and then when I decided I needed to make a video um, before the big video was done, I was like, well, what can I do? Oh, I watch a lot of Next, and that show's ridiculous. It'd be perfect. So I need to do more of that. It's not the first time I've even said this on the stream. It's like a cycle. I get in this good headspace, when to start projects that I work on and then I get bogged down, but not anymore. Not anymore. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not anymore. Can I keep going on the street? Will they let me, uh... Mm, what a hamburger. I'm just gonna, I don't know if I'm allowed to go through there. I'm just gonna go around. Frisky Dingus 89 mm, thank you so very much for gifting those five snubs. Thank you, thank you. Your boyfriend has a theory that the rhyming of next was stolen from Survivor. Did Survivor mm, do a lot of a rhyming? Um, I know they used to in their clues, like the, uh, 
the idle clues and stuff. I think maybe they, they rhymed in there. Maybe they did. Are you mm, kidding? Did Alan let any traffic through here now? Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. Mm, what a hamburger. I'm with you, Hogwarts. It's fun to talk about projects. I find that motivating. I find, like... You gotta make sure you don't talk about it so much that, like, you trick yourself into feeling like you're working on it enough, if that makes sense. I feel like if I'm actively talking about a project to people, it almost feels like I'm getting work done just by talking about it. So it's a balance between, like, okay, talk about it, but also, also I gotta, you know, put my nose down and, and get work done. So I like it in a very, what are you working on, uh, exchange, I like that. Yeah, I'm bad. Honestly, the big video was supposed to be a secret. Uh, I really wanted to just come out with a surprise, a secret video, but like a giant video, but I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I had to, I had to talk about it, even a little bit. Vague as possible, yeah. That's that's pretty much why I'm well, part of the reason why I'm being vague. Another reason is that I don't want to overpromise something, but at this point, I'm in too deep. Like it's happening. I can't imagine that I would bail. For sure, Alley Cat. I was talking about uh, how I started using Trello recently for that exact purpose: breaking down big projects into smaller, more manageable bits I also find helpful to talk projects but always end up feeling too much pressure completing them when having shared with other person that I can relate to that I feel that um, I don't feel that in small settings like sharing someone something with a friend and working on it you know if you bail an idea it's it's whatever but talking about it on stream or like, I don't know, I don't want to mislead people. But at the same time, just I'm a guy that, you know, I'll start a bunch of projects and I'll finish maybe one of them. And that's, you know, start out well-intentioned, get a little overwhelmed, focus on one thing. It's just kind of how I operate. People ask you, where's XYZ? That's the worst part. Yeah. I'm just trying to put less stock into that. Like, it's nice if people are interested, but I'm trying to not put any stock or less stock into, like, not even demands, but I don't know. If a project doesn't get finished, it doesn't get finished. It's not the end of the world. Uh, there are other projects. Just trying to let myself off the hook for that kind of stuff a little bit more. Yeah, we haul in limestone. We're going from uh, Washington to Salt Lake City with limestone. People asking where's blank for a, a project is probably like the most demotivating. Like when it's phrased that way, at least for me. It's, it just makes me not want to do it. In a little bit. Like, even a little bit. That's part of the reason that I'm getting off Twitter. Is because I don't want to see people... Uh, not begging... For food videos. But sometimes it feels that way. Nobody's fault. But that's just how the internet goes. And it makes me not want to make... <laughs> It makes me not want to make them even a little bit. Snood video. Snood video would be fun. I do love snood.
just figuring it out, man. It's crazy. Like, 29, and I feel like I'm only just now realizing and accepting, like, how I function with stuff like this, which is just ridiculous. I think that's probably part of just working alone for so long. Or maybe it's just getting old. Getting some perspective. Now it's fine not to get yourself. That's a journey. It's a big journey. I appreciate that chemical Kimmy. Thanks, Solaria Starts. I really like, I'm filming the big video on VHS. I like using the VHS camcorder. I think from here on out, I really want to try and match my, at least my aspect ratio to the media I review, because I think it's fun. And also, like when it comes to mystery tapes, it just, it just seems sometimes a little jarring to go from VHS footage to like HD, whatever. Uh, and I'm not using the space, like the extra widescreen space. I, I don't use it for anything. So why? I don't need it. And it's just how I used to make videos. Like I used to make videos and, you know, pre posting them on the internet, used to make little movies and stuff just in camera on tape. And so it's fun to reconnect, reconnect with that, uh, that creative, you know, mind space before like money and people were involved. It's nice to get back there somehow. And recording on tape definitely makes me feel that way. Recording on like an HD camera makes me feel ugly. <laughs> That's how that makes me feel. Not VHS. When I when I was recording uh, movies, it was mini DV and uh, Hi8 tapes. I didn't have a VHS camcorder growing up. I think the oldest one I had was a Hi8 camera. Yeah, it's fun using tapes. There's just something physical about using the cartridges and hearing all the, uh, you know, the moving parts in the camera. It's very satisfying. It makes what is typically my least favorite part of the process, which is filming, not, you know, it makes it not totally suck. It makes it at least fun because I get to use a fun camera. Back to filming everything in soft focus. Part of the part of the plus to VHS, man. I feel like I look a lot better in VHS resolution. Film me with a potato. I'm gonna look great. <laughs> uh, thank you, coffee. You gotta use the blinker. The blinker is the most satisfying sound in the entire game. If you're not using your blinker in uh, American Truck Simulator, you're you're missing out. I'm pretty sure I'm just recording an SP. Mm -hmm. Oops. Bust out some Super 8. I don't have a Super 8 camera. You know, I bought a... Oops. I bought a mini DV camera, but I'm not really happy with how the footage looks. It's probably... Uh, I'll use it for maybe like an out and about camera in a million years when I go outside again. Angelejandro64, thank you so very much for the 13 months. Hiya, Ian. Happy to catch a truck and stream. Hope you have a cool day. Thank you very much. I'm going to. I'm going to have a cool day. I'm going to drive a truck, and then I'm going to blend and uh, maybe eat a burger, it sounds like.
How do I get my tapes? It depends. Um, a mixture of thrift stores and eBay. I think I've maybe bought some off Etsy before, which doesn't sound like something you'd find on Etsy, but I think that I've bought some tapes off Etsy in the past. End of your day, you didn't do half the stuff you wanted to do. Hey, that happens. We all got days like that. Especially when I'm sitting here distracting you. Taxes. Don't forget taxes. I should leave myself a note. I don't have a pencil. Oh, wait. I do have a pencil. It's right in front of me. I'm going to write myself a note to do my taxes after I... Should I do it now? Maybe I should just do it. I'm just gonna do it now. Tax. Okay. Put it on my phone. I won't forget. Any B movie recommendations? Um. Oh, I don't know. Uh. I mean, I've talked about... I feel like I talk about the really standout ones. I don't know that I have any that I would seek out. I don't think I have any movies on tape that I would say, you gotta go out and find this video. I think it's more about coming across good stuff by chance. Let's try and park this one. Corn dog. I... One I really want to see, uh, maybe not really want to see. They were talking on uh, Red Letter Media about a, a water park, a, a water park movie where there's there's blades and the the slides that kill people. <laughs> it seemed pretty fun. Water slash is that what it was called? It didn't sound like they liked it a ton, but it still looked pretty good. Oh, shit. I'm trying to think of any other bad movies that I've seen lately, because I know there's gotta be some. I'm always watching garbage. Watch some movie on Pluto called Santa Claus, but it was like claws like a cat claw and it was like cat kit like kittens taking over for Santa. I mean that one wasn't any good, but it it was something that I saw. <laughs> I don't know that I would really recommend it, but uh, it was on it was on Pluto. I saw it airing again, so if you want to watch it, it might it might come on Pluto again at some point. There is a movie I want to talk about, but it's the one it's one that I might do with Chad, so I don't I don't want to spill it. here. I don't know that I'm liking my odds. I still don't know about Killjoy 2. I get people asking for Killjoy 2, but after the last one with the copyright things, nah, maybe I'll just say fuck it. Maybe I'll just say, we'll just see. We'll see. Uh, the copyright, it wasn't even real. So it was just someone abusing the copyright system. Uh, they they claimed it like right when the video came out and then released it like 30 days later. So they got all that, all the money, basically all the money that the video made went to some uh, 
pretty sure it just went to some mystery person. I guess now they hold funds in the... I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. If I want to do Kill Void Killjoy 2, I'll just do it. If it doesn't make any money, that's fine. Now we're not sweating that stuff anymore. We're not sweating it. Little sushi roll. Thank you for the 399 bits. I finally catch a stream, so have some bits. Times have been tough, and I keep falling asleep to brutal foods, and it helps my anxiety. Thanks, Moose. Thank you so much, Sushi Roll. I hope things get a little better uh, soon. Ooh, Brink would be good. I have Brink on uh, VHS. Let's do fuel. No, let's do high value. Eh, let's do fuel. Okay. Well, let's go from somewhere else. Let's uh, start New Mexico. I can only start. Can I start here? Oh, I can. Close to Texas, I can go. We'll go to Hobbs. Oh, no jobs from Hobbs. Oh, do they all go out of. They may all go out of Albuquerque. Ooh, does this one, do you go into Seattle for this one? No. Olympia. Mm, do I want to do that one? I like that route, but it's an oversized... It's an oversized load. Well, we'll try it. We'll try it. Why not? I can always bail on it. It's true. I do. Ch I do hit up Chad for horror. I know he likes the same kind of like cheesy horror stuff that I do. What a hamburger! I can't even see behind me. Is the trailer there? I have no idea. Okay, it is there. Give me a second. My, where am I fucking stuck? Oh. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. I don't, why did I take this one? right there this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a learning experience is what this is gonna be <laughs> oh my god come on scooch it through we're still moving scooch it through just gotta scooch it just gotta there we go there we go. There we go. Yeah, Room is still a B-movie. Um, just because a movie finds an audience, I don't think that changes. Uh, I think it's more about the production budget and like the people involved, probably. Probably just the budget. 
Oh my god, this is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna- we're never gonna get there. Thank you for the bits, uh, the Daft Hatter 66 and Instant Classic 257. And thanks for subscribing, Josh 634. I can't remember if I said that or not, so I just said it again. This should not be every single turn, because every single turn is not going to have, like, some bullshit in the corner that I have to get around. Please let me turn. Thank you. Oh my god, I had to drive the moving truck just from the lot to my apartment, and that was terrifying. I mean, I called upon my trucking simulator, you know, abilities, and I didn't hit anything, but I would never want to actually drive a truck. It's too big. I have a feeling Citizen Kane was not considered a beam. But I guess I don't. I guess I don't. It's never been described to me as a B-movie. What was the budget of Citizen Kane? It had to have, they had to have a budget. movies that I can recall genuinely disliking for other reasons than it being low budget, poorly made. Like... I don't... Usually I just don't like if they're boring. You know? But is that just it being poorly made? How else would I... What else would I be judging it on? room had a budget of six million. I guess I wouldn't uh, doubt that because I read... Shit. I read The Disaster Artist, so I, I guess I wouldn't be surprised because it seems like all the movie went into, or all the money went into the wrong, uh, the wrong places. <laughs> Glad you like it, Jeff. I like to play the chill ones too. I like to just kind of hang out and chat a little bit. This may be my last route. Uh, can someone give me an uptime? Oh, wait, I can see it right there. It's an hour 43. I'm not planning on going too long today um, because my jaw fucking is killing me. It's just... I've been filming a lot of uh, stuff for the big video lately, so I've been, like, talking and projecting lately, and my jaw is just hurting so I need to stop talking for a little while it is is a talking related injury I don't I'm not used to talking a lot so having to talk a bunch uh, yeah I think it's also because I like talk out of the side of my mouth I I know my I don't know if my jaw is crooked. It probably is. I think my jaw is probably crooked. A no talking stream? What would that even be like? What would I play? What's up, Lucifer OG? work-related injury? Maybe. I know my sister has, like, uh, TMJ-related issues. She's got jaw pain, so it's, you know, it's very likely that I should get it, uh, at least looked at. Oh, wow! I just have a hard time, like, I don't know how to speak and, like, not tense up. I just tense up. I'm just very tense. I just tense. Uh, okay, we're just 
just going straight here. X Mike 20. Thank you so much for the seven months. You need some jaw strengthening exercises. I've been looking up like TMJ stretches and stuff and trying to do those while I film. They definitely help. And then like a heat pack helps. I just do an ASMR stream. I just won't talk. I'll just make some uh, crinkle noises or something. Yes, TMJ equals the mouth jaw. It's a medical term that is shorthand for the mouth jaw. It's correct. Favorite pizza place. My favorite pizza place is uh, right here in Washington State. I guess I don't know. Maybe it is also elsewhere, but I don't think so. I'm not positive. It's called Pagliacci. And... Ooh, ju even just saying the name, oh man, it makes me want some Pagliacci pizza. But I also kind of want burgers, because we were talking about burgers. These chill truck streams always make me hungry. We're always talking about food. I guess that makes sense. You're driving. You know, you get the munchies on the road. I'm assuming, especially when you're trucking, you probably get hungry. Hungry pizza. I'm not gonna eat on stream. I got a full meal. Yeah, PBG recently mentioned. I I, I actually learned about Pagliacci pizza from. Uh, Austin, so that does not surprise me. I'm pretty sure the first time I had it was over at his house. Oh, I know you had a slice of pogs. I know exactly how that went. Man, I might get, maybe I'll get pizza. We ju I feel like we just had Pagliacci, like not, not too long ago. I should eat something else. I could maybe do a dinner stream if I was allowed to do all my eating like behind a curtain. Like if we just had like a curtain hanging down here and every time I ate, I would just like move over here and I would eat and then I was done, I would, you know, I'd lean back in over here. I think that could be captivating. Only see nose and above. No, you don't need to see any of my face. It's private. While I'm eating, you don't need to look at that. I'll just put stock videos of people eating like over my face when I eat. And it'll just be a substitute. It would feel weird eating on camera. Like, unless... It wouldn't feel weird eating on camera if someone else was, like, also eating on camera. Like, I could watch someone else eating. Maybe if I watched a different mukbang stream as I ate and it would almost be like we were having a meal together that and we just our conversation was ridiculous that maybe could work I eat on food videos but those are highly controlled and edited uh, experiences Slam Jam, or Sam Jam Slam Ham, my mistake. Thank you for the nine months. Good to see you streaming again, Ian. Can't wait for the upcoming long video. Should we just start calling it the Brutal Moose Motion Picture? Absolutely not. 
I would say no because it's not, it's, it's very much an extended video. Uh, there's not like a bunch of live action skits or something. Brutal Moose motion picture would have to have some type of story. Uh, this is much more like an extended, um, regular video. I don't know what I would do with a movie. Nothing? Don't ever give me a movie. Nobody give me a movie. Don't let me do a movie. No movie. Mm-mm. I feel like if I had to make, if I was making a movie, I would like almost have to work with other people. Uh, and I'm not good at that. <laughs> I, I can, I can be a good work, like a good collaborator, but I think more often than not, I'm, I'm a bad collaborator. Yeah, animated film would be more plausible. Or maybe a film entirely, you know, I mean, they make major motion pictures shot entirely in front of green screen. So if I wanted to film, you know, an entire movie in front of a green screen, I don't think that makes it any less of a film. I mean, according to, you know, like Hollywood standards. Fuck that, I could not do stop motion animation. Big respect for anyone that does stop motion. Anim Regular animation is hard enough. And you're going to do stop motion? Could not. I couldn't do it. I... It oh my god. What were those claymation videos? It wasn't like Nox's World or something? What were those old... It was blue claymation videos. Uh, early, early YouTube. I think it was YouTube. It may not even have been on YouTube. Someone knows what I'm talking about. And needs to speak up, because I need to know that I'm not... Someone made, like, these... Was it Robert Benfer that made those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so we went by Knox back then. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm, I'm, glad I'm not alone. I used to watch those all the time. Yeah, the clay world. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I can pass this one. No, that, that show made me want to do uh, claymation stop motion for sure. Never did it. I, I just, I don't think I ever had that type of patience. I feel like at one point I had one of those Lego, they made those Lego movie maker things. I don't, maybe I didn't ever have, I, I remember the Lego movie maker kit that set you up for stop motion Lego uh, movies. I don't think I had that. I think I maybe just remember it. I feel like if you gotta do, if you're doing stop motion, you gotta like know ahead of time what motions look like, which seems like one of the hardest parts about animation to me. Cause you can't, if you get halfway through and you know, you decide you can't really, just, you're, you're kind of committed with that animation at that point, it, it feels like. Okay, okay, someone remembers the Lego movie set. I don't think I ever had it. I'm think I remember it, I don't think that I ever owned it. Oh my god, storyboarding. That's something I need to like take a class on or something. I need to get better at the planning stages. I don't think I want to make a movie. Like, I don't think that's in my cards. 
I think the closest I would get to like a movie movie would be maybe a, a documentary of something that I just happened to come up with enough footage for. But I don't think a movie movie's uh, in the cards. I would rather make a, a game. Like, here's, here we go, okay. So, um, a Brutal Moose movie would maybe be like, here's a good one, a uh, thrift store road trip. Just going on a road trip, specifically hitting up thrift stores, making it long enough to, to stop at a hotel, grab some food, record all of that, edit it down into something. But even then, I feel like it would just be an extended video. I don't know that... To me, I don't even know... I don't know. That doesn't feel movie... That doesn't even really feel documentary to me, but... Yeah, it'd be close. It does sound fun. I would make that. I've not heard of all gas, no brakes. working a villain. See, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't even really know, like, if I wanted to do that. I don't know how it would come together. It's big. Movie is big. Movie's big. How far can you drive a car inside a Goodwill? There you go. Uh, lights. Guy who goes to wacky people and just gets most intensely weird interviews ever. I have not heard of that. Never heard of that. I should really find some more, like, quality YouTube stuff. I really don't branch out that much right now. And like the algorithm is not super reliable for finding new things. I want to watch more streams too. I'm trying to stream more, so I feel like I should be plopping into uh, friends' streams at least, see what they're up to. Especially if I'm not going to be on Twitter anymore. How am I going to know what anyone is up to unless I just drop in and listen to it? Who do I watch that I recommend? Who am I watching right now? Um, I watch, like, I don't watch anyone, I think, small that people wouldn't have heard of. I, you know, I watch Red Letter Media. I like, uh, I still like um, Cinemassacre. I like, well... I like when James Rolfe does stuff. Uh, no offense to his, you know, his bigger group projects, but I particularly like listening to James talk about film. I like his, the ones where he's just sitting there in front of his computer or whatever, just rambling about something. Um, I really like those. LGR. Never, never stopped watching LGR. Yeah, like uh, Monster Madness. I like the, he did a video on why is, why is there a piece of cardboard in Dracula or something? Surrealist movie, you like his, uh, uh, the animation one, Schwankmeyer or something? I watched that one. I started watching, I think the, the channel I started watching most recently is, uh, Tecmo. Is, is one that I just recently, not even that recently, like a couple months ago, started uh, adding into the mix. What happened sounds, but the title sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't know exactly what it is. I don't know monkey cheese.
I'm very, I'm very selective. YouTube when I watch when I'm anxious or sad. Um, I don't know, same kind of stuff I'm listing. I don't think it really changes right now. I think the people that I watch on YouTube are... I like to chill, more relaxed. I like some wacky stuff too, but mostly I like relaxing stuff. I don't remember if I've seen the digital audio VHS Tecmon. He does a lot of videos. Him and Tecmon and LGR are like channels that make me feel bad for not uploading more. <laughs> People that can just like get work done. Jealous. I don't know Lim, Lim no. I'd really like to listen to some more like creative, motivational um, talks. The problem is I want to listen to it from people that I like already respect creatively. And it's not like everyone is, you know, just doing podcasts. Yeah, see, someone, I think someone else just recommended Lemmy. I don't know. I don't know Lemmy. You know who's done a big turnaround has been Caddy. His channel is, like, exploding right now. Made some changes to his formula. It's working for him. Very impressive. Nicky Jakey is another one where it's like the name. I've, I've prob probably seen it on Twitter. I don't. I have no idea. Um, I don't know. I think I could turn my brights on somehow, but I don't remember. Or Pringles, okay. I haven't. I played Minecraft like barely a week or so ago because they just did the nether update but just haven't gotten invested again um you know animal crossing is seemingly uh, impossible to fully escape because they just keep pushing out little tiny bits of content which is probably uh by design <laughs> it's hard to really get away from but i do want to play I do know. Actually, you know what? There's another. Eddie Burback is someone I just recently found. And I think I've watched some other from that, like, network of people, like, friends of his, just, like, going on um, related channels or whatever. Gus Johnson sounds very familiar. Dan Bell is great. Um, would love some more dead malls. I do like another dirty room, though. People recommend Vinny. Is that the same line of... I thought he did, like, game stuff. See, these are all people that I, like, know-ish. I know by, like, name. Like, I recognize their names. I'll have to check some more people out. Brutal Moose sucks. 
Don't watch, don't watch that garbage. I think that's it though, I don't think... I can't think of any other channels that I'm... Oh, um, same kind of vein as Eddie, I think. Uh, Drew Gooden, I just started watching his videos. His videos are really funny. I think that's like the same uh, area. Curtis Connor sounds familiar, so I've probably, I've probably seen, if they're in the same network, I've probably seen their videos just from autoplay. I don't know Kick the PJ. Peanut Butter Gamers, okay, I guess. <laughs> guess, I mean, if you're desperate for something to watch. <laughs> I still watch every PBG. Every single PBG. Guys, old news. Dude, we're all old news at this point, man. It's gonna be all the, uh, the TikTokers. All the YouTube TikTokers are gonna be the new, the new news. Stepping all over our lawn. <laughs> I know of Super Mega. That's another one I know of. I'm so picky with like YouTube. I'm very picky when it comes to videos. It's probably part of the reason why it takes me so long to upload something. Because I'm also picky with my own. I'm just very, I shouldn't be. Sometimes you just need to upload. Someone just said technology connections, and now I've got uh, get connected for free with education connection. Get connected for free. <laughs> that song's on Spotify. That's hilarious. Corridor Digital is another one where I know the name. I don't know. I don't know what they do. I have played the Euro Truck multiplayer mod forever ago. It was fun though. Get connected for free. Now I was talking about the because uh, I made a joke about it. I think in my next video I was thinking about the JG Wentworth ad. And I don't understand why they don't play that. Uh, 877 Cash Now Opera add more. How do they not, how did that ever stop running? If I was the head of JG Wentworth, I would be airing that commercial non-stop. One of the best commercials I think I've ever seen. Even if you hate it, even if you hate it, you know their name, you know their phone number, and you know what they do. It's genius. I don't even know what an annuity is, but I know that if I ever have one and I need cash now, I know who the fuck I'm calling. Oh, I'm just gonna cut in line here. I don't want to make Structured settlement? No idea. But if I have one, I need some cash.
Ooh, freecreditreport.com was also a good, they had a good run. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Ooh, Empire's pretty good. See, the Empire jingle doesn't tell you what they do, though. They just tell you to call Empire today. J.G. Wentworth tells you, like, their entire company's <laughs> mission and, like, forces you to remember it. I think that's impressive. Yeah, I know the I know the flooring too, but I still don't know. Do they call them for flooring? I think it's like a flooring company. Zoo books. Call Empire when you run out of floor. Yeah, something like that. I'm trying to think of any other commercial I would rank. Just like effectiveness, catchiness. Freecreditreport.com is very comparable. I feel like Freecreditreport.com is also just a lot easier. You don't I'm even need make a all the jingle. Money now. Because it's like in the URL. You could just have someone come on screen and say, visit freecreditreport.com. And you'd be like, okay, I get it. I probably get a free credit report there. Uh, Gabe Lord. Thank you so very much for the $25. More like brutal snooze. I love your videos so much. Thank you so very much. I could go for a brutal snooze right about now. Go on a snooze cruise. Roto Rooter was pretty good. Do they still play Roto Rooter commercials? Oh my God, do you or someone you know have mesothelioma? I remember those commercials. I remember those commercials. Very jarring. I get a lot of that when you watch Pluto TV. A lot of those like, are you dying? You can sue someone now, commercials. There's one running on Pluto right now, at least when I watch it, that's like, were, were you abused by the Catholic Church? Well, you can sue them now, so give us a call. It's very strange when you're like in between watching like MTV dating shows, it's very jarring. Yes, they're always very loud, I agree. If it works, it works. Billy Mays was great. And then they tried to replace him with the guy with the jaw. What was his name? Didn't he bite someone? The ShamWow guy? Didn't the ShamWow guy get in the news for biting somebody? <laughs> could be wrong about that. Oh, someone bit him. Okay. Uh, makes me want to buy a sham wow. That's for sure. Makes me want to run out and pick up a sham wow. I 
I did not play Red Dead 2. I, I wanted to play it for the multiplayer. I liked Red Dead. I remember going to the min... That might be the last game I went to a midnight premiere for. Like, to GameStop was maybe Red Dead. Uh, that, that could be untrue. That's definitely one of the last ones that I remember. And I loved the the posse mode, like the multiplayer mode. I wanted to play it for Red Dead 2, but I just didn't end up doing it. I'm not like a, I'm not a Westerns guy. Like, Cowboys are also like dirty. It's the same thing with Pirates where it's like, man, everyone's just so dirty. <laughs> Pirates are like, yeah, you probably got scurvy, and I just have a hard time getting past that. <laughs> are pirates dirty in a fun way, though, or are they just dirty? <laughs> it's a romantic type of dirty. Okay, all right. Exactly. I want a posse that showers regularly. Just give me a Western where they just magically have a, like a, a modern day shower somewhere and random times during the days, characters will just say, I'm going to go take a shower. Maybe that would, maybe that would help. <laughs> I'm watching, uh, I'm watching my boyfriend play through all of the GameCube Harry Potter games. He just finished, uh, what's the first one? <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone? He just finished Sorcerer's Stone. It was, it was quite a ride. Uh, they're like, they're cool and then it's like, oh, you get to run around Hogwarts. But then they also look extremely frustrating to play. I think I did see Continue's episode on that. I need to watch it again. I feel like I did see it. Was that fairly recent? First one is the worst one. Well, that's good. We're done with that. I say we, like I helped. I helped a little bit. I instructed the battle chess. I, I uh, got us past the chess game, which wasn't actually chess which bothered me. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's fun seeing everyone's like lumpy model. Everyone just looks messed up. <laughs> Indoors toy, Mr. Parker. Thank you so very much for the 20 months. Hey Ian, nice to see you streaming still. I had to fly today since I went out of state due to unfortunate circumstances. Love seeing a chill stream after all that stressful travel. Cheers. Hey, welcome back indoors. Welcome back indoors, indoors. Happy to have you here. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, uh, wasn't here last couple streams or just hasn't checked, I'm streaming every Wednesday and every Saturday in July. My plan moving forward is to set streaming schedules at the beginning of the month. So if at the end of July, I feel like I need more time to work on videos, I will probably pare the schedule down, but I still want to have one to stay regular. Um, because, oh look, there goes a tumble. When I don't have, oh, there goes a lot. When I don't have a schedule, a schedule, I tend to just not do it. So, that's the plan. I don't know about a Harry Potter Quidditch 
toy that you control with your brain. That sounds pretty cool, though. Oh, is there gas? I can't see because it's telling me I'm running out of gas. Is there gas? No, there's no gas. I could have slept, though. Because I need to sleep. You're working from home. Do all days feel the same? I would say, I don't think that all, well, yeah, it depends. Like right now, yes. Uh, not so much when you can go out like to the store. Um, Cause when you work from home, you're able to be like, well, I'll go to, I'll go to the store on days, you know, on weekdays when less people will be there. So that helps keep track somewhat, but it, it can definitely be uh, one one note. It can be hard to know. Like right now, I don't know. It, I know that it's Wednesday. I think I think I'm heavily. Uh, I'm mostly sure that it's Wednesday because I'm streaming, and I know that I'm streaming on Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs> so that'll help me uh, a little bit. The Discord is uh, sub only, though you don't get kicked um, when your sub lapses. So it's just kind of like a one time. So you could use like your prime sub here, I think, and get in. I wanted some type of barrier uh, to keep just anyone from wandering in, but. Uh, I didn't want it to be like, you have to pay me, you got to pay me five bucks a month to stay in this Discord. I'm going to redo the Discord. That's something that I'm planning. Maybe I'll work on that today after I finish here. That's not a bad idea. Um, I think this is going to be my last trip. Um, this this is kind of a planned smaller stream because I need a break um, from speaking. <laughs> but next time we play, definitely recommend that because I would I would be down for a uh, Pacific Coast Highway trip. Next stream, I'm hoping to be on the old PC. The plan for today, I'll just go tell you what I was planning on doing today. It might not be what we do on Saturday. I was planning on playing one of the I Spy games um, on the Windows. That's what I was going to do. I, I'm, I'm thinking about Nance, but I don't know that I want to get in, like committed to a Nance game just yet. But I am still thinking about Nance. I think we already did Spooky Mansion. I don't remember. We played one of them, I'm pretty sure. I have Spooky Mansion. I have... I've got four. I know I have four of them. Maybe I'll just uh, flip through my binder one day. I could point a camera at my game binder and we could look at everything that I got. Or I could write it. Like a normal person, I could put it in a spreadsheet. <sighs> I'm wondering if I have, if I've got... Oh, was there gas here? I fucking need gas. I'm gonna... I need gas. So I'm gonna keep driving it. I'm gonna drive around and look for gas. Because I, I desperately need fuel. Yeah, I'm wondering if I have enough. If I have one of every letter, I feel like it would be interesting to randomly choose a letter of the alphabet and commit to picking games or softwares uh, from that letter. Because that could uh, go either well or badly, mm, which would be fun.
Thinamabob. Well, thank you for the prime sub. I don't know how long uh, the time and distance is. I know that the map is heavily compressed, like it's vaguely accurate. It's got the vibes of the areas right, but it's it's heavily scaled mm, down. What a hamburger! <sighs> you did it! You got a you got a popcorn kernel. Oh my god! Look at that little traffic cone guy. He's calling me in. Oh wait, no. Did I miss it? Calling me in for some gas and a uh, nap. Mm, what a hamburger. Bye, lover forever. Thanks for gifting that sub. Oh no, this is going to be an issue. Okay. Mm, what a hamburger. Odin's abode. Thank you for subscribing. And Russian Caravan, thank you for subscribing. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Now I gotta make sure I don't catch the trailer on anything back there. Oh, I almost did. I did Blackmore Manor, Final Scene, Ghost Dogs, Alibi and Ashes. Um, is that it? That might have been it. I've only played a, a handful. Oh, I was going to sleep in there. I guess I'll sleep. I guess I'll sleep in here. I really should have slept in there. I made a big mistake. Why not just napping in there? Thank you, Odins. I appreciate it. Happy to have you here. Surprising amount of people for a for a chill truck stream. I'm I'm impressed, especially since I'm I didn't tweet it. Uh, turn off car. Go to sleep. Chill truck is pretty chill. I think it's, I mean, it depends on how I'm driving. Some days I, I think it's less chill than others. It's not gonna be chill if I decide to try and park this thing. There's no way I'm parking this. Ugh. Ooh, you got Wednesdays off? Nice. Popped up on streamers you might like. I wonder who gets recommended against my channel, you know? No, you can't leave the truck. That would be pretty awesome, though. You could just run around. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Celebrate Christmas a lot in these truck streams. It's Christmas somewhere, you know? It's the age-old saying. Christmas somewhere. Excuse me. Thank you. Truckers have lonely Christmases. I guess it depends on if they're driving on Christmas. Depends on the driver. Oh, thanks for that update, Fin Finnamabob. I'll update the Discord thing. I have to connect it. It worked on your phone. Uh, I had someone else write up the Discord thing ages ago. It's very possible that they made connecting it easier. I still don't understand, like, <laughs> it used to not work very well, I feel like. I really didn't understand how you made connections on Discord. 
So I'll edit that after I'm done. Thank you for that update. I had no idea. Dr. Squidopolis, thanks for the 15 months. Thanks for all the chill streams, Ian. Keep being you. I'm doing my best. Thanks so much. Your mom has been watching Hallmark Christmas movies every day this month. Christmas in July. Oh, that makes sense. You know, someone asked me about B-movies I'd recommend, like, like, a while ago. What I should have recommended, since I didn't have a specific thing to, to find on tape, I should have recommended uh, mm, Lifetime Movie Network, because I've been a Lifetime Movie fan for a while, but recently they pivoted into, like, more thriller, like, focusing more on thriller, murdery movies, and they're kind of amazing. You can find some pretty uh, entertaining stuff on Lifetime. Iconic Lens Flare, thank you for the Prime sub. You watch Hallmark all day, every day. Oh, right. I remember Labyrinth of Lies. Wasn't Greek play the final scene? I thought that you mentioned that one. Final act or something. Enter entertaining good or entertaining bad? Uh, I guess entertaining bad. Uh, it depends. It's good. It's good to me. I would say entertaining to watch with other people. Lifetime movies are like a... It's like an active roast experience where you roast the movies as you watch them, you know? I want to be in a Lifetime movie. Life goal. Lifetime goal right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in a Lifetime movie one of these days. I have not done Nance on a Train. What was the one where they were in... Uh, Prison, Nance in prison. That one sucked. I didn't like that one. I'm mulling over some Nancy Drew. I'm not going to commit to saying that it's happening soon, but it's definitely something I've been considering. Final scene took place in an old theater where you learned about Harry Houdini. Oh, right, right. Yep, I remember that one now. I remember that one. Ooh, I like chess. My opinion on chess is, is positive. I like chess. Ghost dogs and moon life like was the worst. See, I don't know. That that might have not have been the the game's fault. The bug hunt might have been more my fault than the game's fault. I just remember when I think of the ghost dogs at Moon Lake, I just think about the stupid bug hunt. But I think that might have been my own doing. I'm not I'm not totally sure. Love the uh, wind turbines in the district dis districts. That's cool, Argason. I should definitely do another Nance. I know that uh, the Nance streams are popular on the VOD channel. People like watching the Nance ones. I just have to, when we do the Nance, I just have to make sure that I'm in a like focused state of mind. Otherwise it's gonna be torture because I'm gonna miss and forget things. I hope you feel better, 6-1000. Get well soon. I use a controller to play Truck Sim. I, I've used a wheel before. I don't really like it. It's really not even the wheel that I have an issue with. It's more like the pedals. I don't like... I'm, like, sitting cross-legged right now, you know? I don't want to sit like a normal person for, you know... Two or three hours. That's hard for me. <laughs> yeah, 
bad gamer form, it's true. Well, what's the, uh... Nancy, uh, Nancy aficionados, what's the next one up? What's, uh, what... What Nancy Drew should I be considering? Everyone says Haunted Carousel, I think. I think that's a big favorite that we haven't done. Uh, no, Finema Bob. When I run Windows 98 games, I'm using an old PC. Um, it's It can be really difficult to emulate stuff for Windows 98. At least in my experience, it's possible that it's been made easier the past few years. But in my experience, emulating Windows... Uh, anything past, like, a DOS box is just a pain. How do I sit cross-legged without my knees hurting? I don't. Um... My knees just hurt all the time. <laughs> it's kind of like my back. My back just hurts all the time. Uh, it's called not doing yourself any favors. Carousel fun a bit shorter than most games. Maybe that. Maybe that's what I'll look into. Actually, might be a good idea to tackle a shorter one first. Cause even. Like the Shenmu stream, that five hour Shenmu stream, took it out of me. I'm just not used to streaming since I haven't been streaming. So I gotta work up to it. I like this one. This one makes me think of my road trip video. I used it in my road trip video. Makes me sad. Didn't used to make me sad, now it makes me sad. I'm not saying no to another 12-hour Nance stream. I'm just saying I got to work up to it. I'm saying I can't do a 12-hour Nance stream right now. Just watch the ghost dog spots. I don't have a spot. So all my jazz is from Epidemic Sound. It is a stock. Oh, why do I have my blinker on? It's stock music. I have no playlist. I feel like I always feel that way, um, Hogwarts. I get I get pretty drained from social interaction. That's nothing new to me. I'm feeling starved for it right now, which is a new feeling for me. Being like, man, I wish I could see my friends. It makes me sound like a bad friend to say that I don't typically feel like seeing my friends, but it's a little bit true. I take some convincing. You kind of have to lure me out of the house. But now it's like I can't do it. Uh, and it was also like this kind of, you know, the quarantine and stuff happened, you know, right, not right after, but you know, I just moved back up here from Texas to reconnect with friends and stuff. And, you know, I wanted to have people over and that is not, now I'm kind of like stuck inside just like I was in Texas. It's like the same, you know, same thing. Exactly. We unite when it, when it eventually feels right every once in a while. <laughs> I think I might do one more route after this. I'm feeling good. I kind of want to hit that three hour mark at least. I'll do one more round. It's been nice to chill and chat. It's almost like social interaction. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's communicating.
Oh, I'm not parking this. I'm not even gonna try. Not even gonna try. I am in a hurry now. No, thank you. That's true. All chatbots, but I can pretend, you know? Man, I've had friends been inviting me to play stuff online and I haven't really done it because I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I've been playing a little bit of RuneScape here and there. I wouldn't say a ton. Okay. It's just the problem is when my friends want to play games, it's like at the computer. When I'm at this computer, I feel like I should be doing something productive. I don't, I used to like play games, do a short one, for fun and stuff on my PC, but not really anymore. This is like, it's work time when I'm here. I agree, Finima Bob. I like to, I like to interact this way. Do I need to get the... Do I have the truck this time? Replay Norwood Sweeter off-peak. Um, I would say there's a possibility. I would say specifically with um, Tales from Off-Peak City, when he releases another volume of that, I feel like it's likely, or at least possible, that I'll want to replay volume one before I start volume two. Okay, we're hauling gypsum, which I don't know what that is, but we're taking it to Oregon, Eugene, Oregon. Is it like a mineral that I'm hauling? I can't even see the trailer behind me, so I don't even know. Oh, look at this dam. Oh, it is a mineral? Okay. Hell yeah, Tales of Off-Peak is so good. All the games that he's made, at least the ones, I guess I've played three of them, I don't know if he's made more. Really enjoyed. I find uh, Cosmo D's work to be really inspirational. Biggest dam in the country? Is that is that this one? What is it? What's its name? Big old dam. Listen to me drive while while you drive. Drive better than I'm driving. That's my request. Oh, Hoover Dam. That would make sense. I've heard that's probably the only dam that I've heard of. Is there another dam? What's another dam I would know of? Hoover Dam, big old dam. They have bridges in this game that have weight limits and you have to drive around them. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think the bridge is gonna collapse. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if your routes take you off highways because of your weight. That would seem like something you would include in a simulator game, but I, I don't know. The Dimsdale Dimadam. Grand Coulee Dam? That actually maybe sounds like something that I, well, it's in the past. We're not going, wherever it is, is we're not going. I've considered Deadly Premonition. They're on my radar. Um, 
I think the past couple years I've said maybe Halloween, so maybe Halloween, but, uh, my maybes don't, at this point, my maybes don't carry that much weight, I feel like. <laughs> Dam is in Nevada. Yeah, I have no idea. I think I've seen a Brian David Gilbert video. I know the I know the guy. I can't remember which videos of his I've seen. I don't I don't watch the Polygon stuff. Does he post them on Polygon? Polygon made me mad. I don't remember what it was. I think it was their Shenmue 3 review. Something stupid. And so I don't go there anymore because I'm, I'm that guy. I think I've probably seen some of his own, his stuff on his own channel. It's like me and the, like, Charmin. Like, I won't, I won't use Charmin anymore because of the stupid bear commercials and it, it really has no nothing to do with the quality of the product I just just can't the, those stupid fucking bears man I just I can't use that toilet paper I won't buy it I mean I'll use it I guess if I didn't know but I won't buy it yeah those stupid bears or completely ignore the commercials. I've seen the, like if they stopped the bear commercials, if I, if, if I saw like a Charmin commercial and it was just a commercial of pillows or something, I don't know how you make a toilet paper commercial outside of, we make toilet paper, put it on your butt. That's all you need. Um, then I would reconsider. But as long as those bears are still in rotation, it's not happening. Not happening. Once they did that stupid Heine dance ad, it was over. It was over. Well, they signed up for it. It sure seems like the bears don't mind their identity being completely tied to poop. I guess I feel more bad for like real bears in general because I don't know, maybe someone watches those commercials and is like, you know, bears poop all the time. Real, real bears, they poop all the time and they are always singing about their butt. I just don't like bears. So that's not fair. That's not fair to real bears. I just don't like anything. It's like the new the new Toucan Sam commercial. I oh my god. I hate that Toucan Sam. Bring back bring back my old Toucan Sam. I would, I'm not surprised. I would not, if people like that, the design, I would not be surprised. It's very now. That des that design is very uh, modern and I see a lot of, I, a lot of animations that look just like that. So it does not surprise me. Very now style. I don't like it. <laughs> I just, I just want the old one back. He's like a different, it's like a different bird. And you know, I eat so many Fruit Loops. You guys know how I'm always talking about Fruit Loops and how much I'm constantly eating them. I think, I think I should get what I want. <laughs> We 
weird KFC ad campaign. I kind of like KFC's campaign, honestly. Um, I don't know what you're talking about now, but they're, I like their idea of different people playing the Colonel based on the commercial's theme or uh, the product they're selling. I like that idea. They can't have gotten into that big of trouble for the commercials. I didn't hear about it. I didn't see any KFCs close. Why does who have tea? Do they do a different kernel one that I don't know about? Colonel Sanders should have tea. Oh yeah, I remember the, the dating sim kernel, yeah. It's a very uh Twitter. Oh yeah, Sam has Toucan Sam has teeth now, it's true. Well it's cause he's got that uh, I don't know if there's a name, but side mouth going on where it's not like a real beak. It's just like a little cartoony mouth on the side of his face. How are you gonna do that without teeth? Yeah, 500 bucks for that or whatever. Sonic's got a real mouth. I'm gonna have a side mouth that I know of. I wonder how Toucan, like modern Toucan Sam would look like talking to me straight on. Is it just like a front side? Merry Christmas, everybody. Don't forget to work on those letters to Santa. The quarantine is still going on by Christmas. Do you think there's going to be like... Santa practices social distancing guidelines. You should do it. Are we going to see Santa in a mask? It's interesting to think about. A hundred percent. Don't tempt fate. Santa's not, he's not coming this year. He's just gonna, he's just gonna FaceTime you. Everyone, you know what? No, here it is, here it is. To, to practice safe guidelines, Santa's, he's just gonna leave your gifts on the roof. <laughs> so new tradition is gonna be climbing up on top of your roof to get your presents. He's just gonna leave them by the chimney. It's like a Uber Eats contactless, contactless delivery. No, no cookies for Santa. Nope. You can give him a, a thumbs up on his on his app. He'll have a Santa app. You can. How did I do with my Christmas delivery? Ah. <sighs> uh. That's, I mean, I feel like that's the more obvious. Santa is magic. Uh, so he does, but you know, didn't it, uh, it might like, I'm pretty sure I read that it 
like came from animals? Could we transfer? I don't know exactly, but are we sure that they can't, that COVID can't be, you know, spread by mystical elves? Are we going to take that risk? Or are we going to put a mask on Santa and have him leave our presents up on the roof? It's the only option. <laughs> It's the only option uh, to stay safe. Presence on the roof, I'm calling it, this year. 2020 is the year. <laughs> I mean, he's like so old, right? He wouldn't want to endanger himself. Santa's just sending e-cards this year. He's just gonna <laughs> send you an e-card with like a a free phone desktop background as an attachment <laughs> for a gift. Your status on the good list will carry over till next year. I like that drones. The, the technology is there, man. It could be a Santa drone Christmas. You could put sleigh bells on a drone. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear it over the propellers, but you could put sleigh bells on a drone. Well, here's the thing. Here's our opportunity. We so we're. We see the opportunity now, and the opportunity is to come up with the, what's going to be the classic COVID Christmas carol. It's got alliteration baked right in. So, what's the song gonna be? All I want for Christmas is you, but from a respectable distance? Something like that? <laughs> you know that, that, that there's gonna be this and there's gonna be like a lot of it. <laughs> It's fun to laugh about now, but when December rolls around and everyone's uploading COVID Christmas humor, it's going to be miserable. <laughs> oh my god, go! It's like I'm hauling minerals up a giant hill or something. Stay another day at home. <laughs> oh yeah, SNL, SNL, yeah. Are they still doing SNL? Are they doing like remote SNL? Are, are talk shows just happening from people's homes now? I don't, even, I don't even know what's happening on TV. I know that, uh, I know that Drag Race had to do their finale by teleconference. I know that it's it's popular to like do like show not revivals but quarantine spin-offs. Wait, so how good how good are maybe I need to watch some uh I wanna know how good uh talk show hosts are hosting from their bedroom. Is it just them and a camera? Are they basically YouTubers now? Are they good at it? Or are they bad at it? I am watching Drag Race All-Star. Mmm, what a hamburger. Well, I'm gonna have to look up some clips of that. It sounds, uh, interesting. I could see John Oliver still being uh, pretty good. There's some people that I think have worked on stuff um, that would make me think that they would, you know, hold their own without an audience. But some people I feel like I only know as 
like talk show hosts. Yeah, like what is Jimmy Kimmel doing? Is everyone just lip syncing to songs? Every time I think about like modern TV, what people are doing on TV, it's always like lip syncing to songs. Everyone wants to, or it's like a singing thing. Lots of singing, maybe? Captain Fan Fan. Oh my God, I thought I would ran over something. Captain Fanta, uh, Captain Fanta Five Tick. Oh, Captain Fantastic. Thank you for the prime sub. Sorry, I was just talking about Leet last stream. I need to brush up on my Leet skills. Oh, that's what TikTok is doing. Chemical Kimmy. Thank you so very much for the four months. Speaking of Christmas and bad movies, I'd love to suggest bad Christmas movies as a video topic. My personal favorite is the Santa Claus 3, the Escape Clause, but there are so many to choose from. It's really not a bad idea for a Christmas uh, thing. Um, I don't know if I would do multiple movies, but it would be fun to talk about another bad Christmas movie. It depends on if I like if I looked for one and I watched a bunch of garbage and didn't find something amazing, then a general one would play better. But I'd be interested to find a uh, maybe a more compelling Christmas B movie that could take up a full video. Also, an interesting idea would just be to be to like talk about my favorite Christmas specials or just Christmas specials that I enjoy from shows. I have not played the movies yet. I own it, uh, but I, I have never played it. I always wanted to play it when I was young, uh, but I don't know. I don't think my computer could run it or something. Do I turn here or do I go? St I don't fucking know. As I turn here, I'm supposed to turn. I wish this GPS gave me directions. Is there a car back there? Like, other than a line on the map, it needs to be like, turn left here, turn right here. Don't you cut in front of me, don't you, you. That's what I would have done. That's right, bitch. Now what are you gonna do? You're stuck too. That's right. No, you stop, you stop. I go first. This is my road. You stay back there. I've not seen the year without uh, without Santa Claus. Can't say I've seen that one. I don't even really remember the Santa Claus. I'm pretty sure I've seen the first one. Holiday Inn is a movie? I know it's a hotel. I don't think there's a Christmas movie that I watch every year. I think if, if, if there was one, it's probably a Christmas story. I feel like I, not that I go out of my way to watch it every year, but I think I, I do watch it pretty much every year. That's not really one I would talk about in a video, I don't think. I like to watch Hocus Pocus on Halloween. I feel like I'm more regular with that, or I used to be. I'm starting it up again this year. Hocus Pocus every Halloween. I think they're working on a sequel final. They, they keep talking about it. I bet it's bad. I'll, I'll watch it, but I can't imagine it's, it's going to be good.
Maybe it'll be good. I shouldn't discount it before it's been made. If I got the original cast, it could be okay. I don't know, Scary Godmother. Uh, I know Halloween Town. I've seen the second one a lot. I just, I remember Disney Channel playing the second one way more than the first one. So I know the second one. Is Scary Godmother like a, like a Disney movie? What is it? Say, what is it? Hey, why is buttercup? Popcorn. Add sweet cream butter to hot popcorn. Are we in Seattle? We are in Seattle. <laughs> I saw those buildings and I know, I know what uh, buildings those buildings are based off of. That's kind of funny. Lorio's 666. Now, thank you so very much for the 10... 1,000 bits. It's $10. going to say 10 because of the jingle. For the 1,000 bits. Hey, Ian. Your wing recipe turned out amazing, and my sister and her boof enjoyed them too. You should share more recipes soon. Well... I appreciate that, Lorio666. I gotta say, that is basically my recipe. That's, uh, you've, you've experienced the recipe. I used to know how to make a couple of other things, um, but, I, oh, I could, I, I didn't need to be here. But that's, that's the only one I ever put a ton of effort into. Uh, even, like, the meatballs that I make, are kind of like a modified recipe of, of someone else's, so it, it doesn't really feel like something that I try to do myself. How many, how much of America have they added since the game released? I want to say three states, two or three states. They're about to add Idaho. Maybe it's like three or four. I'm gonna swing by this. No, I know I'm not. I was gonna swing by the rest stop, but fuck that. Hot dog recipe video. Uh, I like to boil my hot dogs. I'm a hot dog boiler. Oh, Idaho comes out tomorrow? He's singing to me. Not your fave. Banana curry pizza? That's not a real thing. That's just something you said right now. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't. I still don't believe it. <laughs> you could feed it to me, and I will. I would still say, I don't think this is real. <laughs> I'm really basic with my pizza. I like pepperoni. I like a cheese. Sometimes I get crazy and get some Italian sausage. Um, but typically, I like a good pepperoni. You're <laughs> ordering pizza right now? <laughs> I might have to get I might have to get pizza today. We'll see. We I'm pretty sure we just had it. Uh, barbecue pizza I can't do because I went to CC's. You don't know what CC's is. It is a pizza buffet of lower quality pizza. Um, I used to love going to CC's, but I ate pizza there once that looked normal. Uh, and it was not. It was barbecue pizza, and I like had to find that out by eating it and just, I'm still recoiling from it, so I just can't get on board with barbecue pizza. It's been years, and I, nope. 
Z, uh, oh no, Zaret Dragon. Have I ever said your name correctly? I apologize. Zaret Dragon. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. I like barbecue, like ribs, and like uh, pulled pork sandwiches. Yeah, not on a pizza. Tried the Twinkie Wiener Sandwich. How was it? Did you like the Twinkie Wiener Sandwich? I think someone, some other food channel just did Twinkie Wiener Sandwich. People were uh, tweeting it at me. I think it had another uh, go around. Hate that you didn't hate it. I guess I'm lucky that I hated it then. I guess it would have been a much worse scenario to discover that I like Twinkie Wiener sandwiches and I want to eat more of them. Probably not a good outcome. Not been to Franklin's Barbecue in Austin, but I bet it's great. Babish liked it but forgot to dip it in milk. Did I dip it in milk when I ate it? Or did I just eat it? I don't even remember. I remember that I wore a costume. That's what stands out to me <laughs> when I think of Twinkie Wiener saying, I remember not liking it and I remember wearing a costume. I did? Okay. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. I was just gonna try. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just gonna drive over it. It's okay. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> oh, anyone question my driving skills anymore? Uh, just don't. I'm the best driver. Get on my level. I like to see you guys do that. Cause you can't. Nobody's got skills like me. <laughs> I thought it was for sure gonna like. I, I could not believe that it was going to have me fall off a cliff. You know, like, this game, it's all invisible walls. You just bump on shit. I thought it was going to have me actually fall off a cliff. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad I did another route. That was, that was worth the new route on its own. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I should get money for that. They keep taking money for, like, traffic infractions. I should get money for pulling off cool tricks. Thank you for the bits. Uh, C C3 row. Uh, C. Uh, Caro? Say, cause three row. Three, uh, how do you say your name? <laughs> how do you how do you say that? How would I pronounce that? We will play Central High again. We probably will never win, but we'll uh, we'll try it. Thank you so much for the bits, Saro. Oh well, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot more sense than what I was trying. Thank you, Saro. Saro, Saro. I was just, like, last stream talking about Leet and how I was going to speak more Leet because uh, I don't remember why I was saying that, but for some reason I said I was going to speak more Leet. And I'm getting tripped up on these names today. It's disappointing. Ian. Happy you were able to make it here. Who hacksaws? Oh, those were the days. Were they? I don't know. They were days. It's 
far as the internet concern is concerned, I think those were the days. At least for me. I'm definitely nostalgic for those. Uh, the way the internet used to be. Was there an Ace Attorney character that spoke in lead? I would believe that. I'd believe it. I really wish I'd played more of those games. I was so invested in the first three. I ate the, the original trilogy up when I played it on the 3DS. And then I just never really kept that momentum going. I played a little bit of Apollo Justice. I tried to get into multiple times and I just, I just didn't. I think it's because I played them while I was if I remember correctly, I played those while I was traveling more, or I still had a job, maybe. Um, and that made it easier, because I, I have a hard time playing like 3DS games. Like a story game that I gotta focus on. I'm usually multitasking unless I'm, you know, on the go. Couldn't get into Apollo Justice. I know people are torn on that one, but I don't think that it was any other reason, for me at least, other than I just wasn't committed to, uh, thank you, playing the game. So that's the thing is I see people say that they don't get through it, they don't like it, and then some people say that Apollo Justice is their favorite one. So I really wanna, I wanna play all of it just so I know how I feel about it. But I just never did. Got more into Edgeworth than Phoenix Wright. See, the idea of playing as Edgeworth doesn't... Um, I think that's one of the issues with Apollo Justice. Is switching protagonists in a, in a series is, I guess, difficult for me. I don't know. Maybe I just need to, to mentally prepare myself. But I'm not interested in playing as really anyone um, but Phoenix. And then don't they, like, isn't Gumshoe not in the... I think he's in the Edgeworth games, but... Is uh, Gumshoe in Apollo Justice? Because if Gumshoe's not in it, like... Is it is it really worth playing? <laughs> Makes a cameo? That's not the same. I should try him though, I should try him. Maybe, maybe one day stream, but I don't know. I'd be really worried with people helping me with those games. That's what I, I came to believe, was that Gumshoe was really mostly featured in the original trilogy and that's it, which is fine, but it's like my favorite character. My favorite characters were definitely Gumshoe and Old Bag. Is she still around? Uh, cause she was hilarious. Old Bag made me laugh, like, every time. Same with Gumshoe, they were just great, really funny characters. When she has that, uh, when she's in that space suit or whatever with her little toy gun. <laughs> Missing after the originally original trilogy, but heavily featured in Edgeworth. Maybe I need to pay, play the Edgeworth ones then. If if Old Bag and Gumshoe are in the Edgeworth ones, then maybe that's where I need to uh, go. Well, that's fun. You get to play Old Bag. That's awesome. That's a fun idea. Ooh, I remember a Turnabout Big Top. I feel like my favorite wasn't in three. I feel like my favorite case, my favorite case was, uh, 
Oh my god, I always forget. I don't know any of the case names. It's the one with... I think it's Eeny Meeny. It's when you, when you learn how to do the, uh... That thing where you look into people's minds with the locks. It's been a while. Um... Second case of Justice for All. Is that the second or the third game? <laughs> I, the, the trilogy is is one game in my mind. I don't really know where one be, like just in my memory they've all like smushed together. Second game, okay. Because I played them as a collection and I played them one after the other and it was kind of like just continuing the game. Chef in the third game. Oh, it sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Well, now I want to play. <laughs> now I want to play Ace Attorney. We'll see. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I would not be opposed. Um, because if I played the... Tri is this where they want me to go? Home store? If, if I played the trilogy, I wouldn't, like, lose it if someone spoiled something for me. I would just be, you know, regular resentful. <laughs> but since I've already played them, it wouldn't be like, you know... You ruined it. Would I wear a suit if I play them? Probably not. That sounds uncomfortable. You know me, I wanna be comfy. I wanna wear my cardigans. I wanna wear, wanna wear my uh, sweatshirts. Maybe a lawyer badge. Yeah, I could clip on a lawyer badge. All right, I'm wrapping it up. I went a little bit longer than I even expected to just because I was having so much fun. Thanks for hanging out and chatting with me. Uh, I really enjoy these chill truck, chill truck streams. Um, it's fun playing games, but it's also fun. I get, feel like I get to talk more and connect a little bit more, which is fun. Uh, we'll truck again sometime soon-ish, eventually, because Idaho is coming out, so there's an excuse to play it. I will be back on... S today's Wednesday, right? <laughs> Saturday. I will be back on Saturday. At some point, uh, my plan is to play on the LGR machine, um, something Windows 98. It didn't work out this time, so we will see if it works out next time. All right, that sound good? I miss this too. I miss this too. I think... I think when I get stressed out, I forget that I actually enjoy streaming. Sometimes it just sounds, you know, when I get really stressed out about other stuff, it, it feels like this extra weight and pressure, but uh, I actually like to do it. So I'm happy to be back on the schedule. Mm, what a hamburger. Uh, she, Shiburado, Shiburado video. Thank you for the three months. Thank you, thank you. All right, thank you guys for hanging out. Stay safe, have a great rest of your day, and I hope to see you again on Saturday. See you later, A allig alligator. <laughs> and now folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.